Hey, how's it going today? Today I got, I picked up a a nail. This is a small roofing nail in my tire. And basically it would, it picked it up and then I, I started hearing this click and it was clicking, it was hitting this, uh, whatever, the down fork, rear fork, down tube or something. It was hitting and I almost pulled it out. It was actually in there. It was out. It was... It was only like, well, it was out quite a bit more than it is now, but it kept hitting this. I started to pull it out, and when I was pulling it out, I could hear the air leaking. So, since I was like three miles from my destination, I just tried to wing it home because I didn't have a patch kit or pump. And it actually pushed itself in deeper and sealed up the, sealed up the leak. And it's pretty much still holding at this point. But yeah, sometimes it's better to leave these things in rather than take them out if you're sort of out in the middle of the boonies. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick fix on this, show you how I do this. And so, theoretically, we do not have to take the wheel off. Um, but we could take it off just as, just as easily. We want to leave this here so we know where the hole is and so yeah first thing we're going to do is uh, actually we should just mark it so we'll mark it here so we know where it's at just in case it closes up and yeah that's what would have happened if I would have pulled it out like five miles down the road here. Yeah, it's roofing nails. This is a used roofing nail. Apparently some roofer did some job and then just left it out in the street, which ain't too cool. Well, so there it is right there. So all we have to do is wait till the air leaks out and then pull the tube out and then I've got this slime kit here. We got a little bit of wind happening here today. I'll get the slime patch kit. And so we'll use that to patch the hole. Okay, so we had to change the angles a little bit here. So once you've pressed the edges in and you've got a little bit of slop, you can pull it up. nice kind of uh, tire removal tool to do this. Um, this is not a tire removal tool, but it would work. You have to be very careful if you um, stab the tube by accident when you're sticking this tool in. You don't want to st uh, stab or pinch the tube at all, because otherwise you'll have another leak to deal with. And there goes my phone. Okay, camera fell off because of the wind. Yeah, but anyway, it's still working. Good old Samsung. Still working. So here's my little leak right here. Didn't have to take the tire off. And we should see it right in here somewhere. And there it is right there in the middle of the five. And so... You have to make sure this is clean. You can take a little piece of sandpaper, free of dust. And I've tried different kinds of cement. The only cement that really works is the rubber neoprene cement. So uh, you can't use super glue. I've tried super glue, it doesn't work. So yeah, Let's see what happens here. Okay, so. We got the patch on. We leave this plastic on the outer <clears throat> part of the part of the plat uh, the patch. We leave the plastic on. Normally, it doesn't take long for this to dry. Um, it's always good to check inside your tube to make sure you don't have any other things that are poking through. In this case, I already know because I pulled out the nail from here. Uh, the nail hasn't caused enough to. 
uh, caused uh, any major weakness in the two tire so I think we're just going to leave the tire as is and this one's ready to pump up and go back on the road and thanks for watching if you need any help you can contact me so that's your bicycle tip for today thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe thank you